Trooper, please. What do you need, Trooper? Please, what can I help you with? Intern, we're having an emergency, intern. Wait, we need to solve this problem, intern. Uh, okay, I know how to solve this. What, intern? What the heck is this? What are you doing? Well, Supervisor, you said we were having an emergency and this is an emergency pistol. That's how you market it, so I brought it in here because I thought it would help. Intern, you bubbly idiot! We need to get out of here now! Oh, okay, that was not good enough. Here, I have another one. Intern, we're running out of time! <laughs> Ah yes, so the Elite 2.0 Trio and the Elite Triad. Two blasters, virtually identical. Which one's better? I don't know, let's find out. Both of these blasters try to fill the exact same role, being a three-shot emergency pistol with a T-pull. I hate T-pulls. But which one of them is actually better? Because you could still buy both of them, but one of them would have to be better than the other, right? Going over the design of both of these, I actually really like both of them for different reasons. The Triad feels very industrial and very simple, while the Trio gives off more of a futuristic look similarly to that noisy cricket thing from Men in Black, which I just love. Honestly, I personally prefer the Trio over the Triad in terms of design just because it's a little more sleek, it's a little bit bigger, surprisingly, considering like they're both pretty much the same size, except yeah, the Trio is a bit bigger front to back, and and it is a little bit thinner, which means that it'll actually slip into pockets easier than the Triad. So the trio gets a point here. And judging blasters, I will put darts behind them to indicate how many points they have. Now going over the ergonomics, both of these blasters kind of have a similar form factor going for them, but they're done in different ways. The Triad basically does the same thing that Jolt does, where you have this plunger tube with this weird rail thing on the front for your fingers to go onto. It's not very comfortable, but it does get the job done. While the trio goes above and beyond at making a nice ergonomic grip. They even put a sling point in the bottom. Hell, they put two sling points on it. You can sling the trio. So definitely the trio is going to get another point here. Now let's talk about the functionality and the ease of use with both of these blasters, which also doubles as how reliable the smart ARs are, because you know the big tradition with smart ARs. They're going to be stupid, and they're going to fail a set amount of times for however many darts you shoot at them. Well, let's test them. If we take a look at both of these blasters, first starting out with the Triad, loading darts is very smooth and very easy to do. The darts fit right in, there's no sort of scratching at all, and they sink pretty deep into the blaster, which gives you a nice reliable feel on them. The trio, on the other hand, isn't as easy. It is still smooth to put the darts in. However, the darts stick out substantially further than on the triad, which I don't really like. And the reason for that is because any sort of like pushing or pressure could bend the darts, which would just kill them immediately. If we actually compare the T-poles with both of these blasters, the triad has a very smooth, easy to do T-pole and testing out the reliability of the Sparta ARs, just these three. One of them always dies. I'm not sure why, but that's always been a problem and I've had two triads. Going over the trio, the T-pole is actually smoother than on the triads. And I have never had any smart AR problems with this one. So once again, the trio gets a point. As a quick note from earlier in the vid when I was talking about ergonomics, I would also like to bring up the trigger. The trigger on both of these blasters are similar and yet very different. The trigger well on the trio is very refined and the trigger pull is actually very nice and smooth because the whole internal spring mechanism is hidden inside the grip. The triad doesn't have this and actually will pinch the top of your finger if it goes up high enough. And this mechanism is actually kind of sticking out of the blaster a little bit. You can feel it so just to add on to the fact that the trio got a point there going over the firing demo i'm going to start with the triad and we're going to do six shots from each three first and then trying to reload it as fast as possible and shoot the other three so we'll start with the triad one two three oh, one of them if one of them is already dying See, I haven't hold the dart in. Oh my gosh, I... <laughs> what is this? <laughs> okay, I, I guess we're only gonna shoot five out of the triad. Let's try it with the trio. It's 
Speed love. Ditch, 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 Speed love. Ditch, 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 Speed love. Ditch, 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 So obviously the trio is going to get a point here because the trio actually shot all six darts instead of five. And, and you could say that that's because of a bad dart. Nope, this dart is actually really good. And I'm going to leave that there for the rest of the video. So uh, try it. It's, um, it's not looking too good for you. Although we are on the last, uh, the last topic now, the price to value ratio. The trio costs $7 while the triad costs $5. Um, for $2 difference, uh, 100%, I would take the trio. The trio is literally just a better version of the triad. It fixes all the problems that the triad has. There really aren't any smart AR problems with it at all. It's very comfortable. You can sling it. It's smoother. It's easier to use. The only thing that I prefer about the triad is the fact that the darts sink all the way in, but obviously even that might not sometimes be true. And I just really like the trio a lot more than I've liked the triad. So with that said, trio, congratulations. You are the winner of this competition and you are the least wasteful out of these two blasters. So if you would like to pick up either of these blasters, I will link both of them in the description below. With that said, thank you guys for watching. Subscribe if you're new, like if you enjoyed, and comment down below. When do you think I'm actually going to remember to put pineapple in every single video? And I'll see y'all next time. Bye.